What is going on guys? It's Jono. We got a short and sweet video today. We're going to be talking about how you can remove nuisance labels from your business calls. So let's say that you're calling your clients, right? And you're picking up your phone, you're calling them and it's saying likely spam or spam or, or whatnot, right? And you're freaking out thinking I'm losing tons of money on this, which you obviously are. And you're trying to figure out how to get rid of that. And the answer for me at least when I figured out how to get rid of it was super, super complicated. It took me weeks to figure out how to do this because there's no concise answer on the internet. I had to go through, scrape through like a freaking jungle of Reddit forums to figure out how to do this. I'm gonna explain this to you guys so quickly. And for me, I lost, I would like, it's hard to calculate, but at least tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, because people just don't pick up your, your, your phone calls if it's labeled as nuisance labels, right? And the reason this happens is not because you're, you know, doing bad business practices. In fact, for me, what was happening was I was using Twilio, right? And the thing is, is there are companies that will buy and burn phone numbers on Twilio. So they're using voice over IP uh, phone numbers, they're purchasing them, they're calling tens of thousands of people, it's reducing the, the rating of that phone number, and then they burn it, they chuck it, and they buy a new one, and they keep doing this for all the numbers, right? So by the time you go and buy the phone number, it's already listed as likely spam, and every single one of the 50 numbers that I bought all had the nuisance label likely spam on it before I even bought it, before I even used it, it was already there. And I had to figure out how to get rid of it on all 50 numbers and it worked. I got rid of it on all 50 numbers. So if you're using Twilio, if you're using Go High Level, if you're using a voice over IP phone number, there's a, pretty much a million different software applications out there that allow you to buy phone numbers online and call people. Then this video is for you and we're gonna show you how to do it first with the two immediate solutions and then we're gonna show you some steps on how you can avoid having this happen to you again. So first of all, what I had to figure out is through literally combing the internet to find this is there's two websites here. There's Haya and there's um, Reporter Robocall. Okay, so you have to go to these forms. You can see the URL here and also the URL here. And I will post it down below in the description and you just have to register your phone numbers here because what's gonna happen is you're gonna submit your phone numbers to these two sources and they're gonna remove the likely spam because they just wanna verify that the number that you are registering is a, a legitimate business, right? So what happens is that it's not actually Twilio that's blocking your phone numbers or, or creating the nuisance labels, it's the cell phone providers, right? But those cell phone providers, they outsource their um, analytics and the nuisance labels to a third party company. And that third party company is often Haya, right? Or it could be another, um, another company, right? So that's why when you call Twilio, they're like, sorry, you have to call your cell phone provider. You call the cell phone provider, they're like, sorry, you have to call Twilio. And there's this back and forth until you get nowhere, right? But it's because neither of them are responsible for this. It is a third party um, vendor that has a contract with all the major cell phone companies like AT&T or Bell or Rogers or, or, or Telus or, or whatever it is. I'm mostly naming Canadian companies here because I live in Canada. But um, yeah, so you can go to these and essentially all you have to do is you have to register that phone number, add your email address, provide a detailed description of the company, um, enter in all the phone numbers, and then you have to uh, put a comma in between every single one of them, the country code, and then um, you know just fill out the rest of the form. It should only take you a couple minutes to do. And then in a couple days, all of your phone numbers are gonna be cleaned, scrubbed, and they're not gonna have the nuisance labels. Now, obviously, um, <laughs> if you're you know having people block your phone numbers, then the, these will come back. Like for, for my case, I'm doing all inbound calls. So, you know, there's like, once we get it off, it's never coming back, right? Because the only people we're calling are people that wanna talk to us. Um, but of course, if you keep getting blocked uh, by other numbers or, or people, then yes, of course, these will come back, right? So this is just a temporary solution if you're doing things that are gonna get you blocked, but if you're not doing things that are gonna get you blocked, like I was in my case, and you just want to have numbers that don't have the nuisance labels on them, this is how you can go ahead and remove them. So you can go to this form on Haya, fill it out. You can also go to this form on TNS, uh, Call Guardian, 
and fill out this form as well and that should remove it. Now let's talk about how you can keep these nuisance labels off, right? Because these forms are a great start but ultimately speaking if you're like me you don't want to have to deal with this over and over and over again because the reality is is you know by the time you figure out that you have that nuisance label on you've probably lost tons of money already. So I'm just going to show you through go high level what you can do here but it's pretty much the same lingo everywhere. So there's four things that you need to set up here. So number one is voice integrity, right? So voice integrity, what it essentially means, and I wrote it down here, is it just um, makes sure that all voice communication that you have with people isn't tampered or intercepted, right? So it helps verify the caller ID and, and in return this reduces um, nuisance labels, right? It's like pretty much um, authenticating your business, right? And you're registering your business, you're making sure that you're putting in the right um, security protocols so that, you know, people can't tamper with you. Now C name is going to indirectly help you um, with nuisance labels because when you call people what's going to happen if you have CNAM is that and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but when you have CNAM um, essentially it's going to give a caller name so if it's like you know Bob's construction and you call somebody it'll have Bob's construction there also could be a nuisance label underneath that that says likely spam right so you need to get rid of that but at least now if you're if you're calling somebody they're going to know who it is and there's a level of trustworthiness with that so this is a great way to kind of reduce people blocking you especially because if you're calling from a 10 digit number they they're just not going to know who you are maybe they block you right um, sweet and then the last thing is shaken and stir so essentially what this does is it reduces call spoofing right call spoofing is when somebody else tries to essentially uh, hijack your phone number and call on your behalf even you know so essentially with shaken and stir you can authenticate callers and reduce nuisance labels and the last thing which also helps is the A2P wizard so setting up A2P this doesn't directly help with calls because it's more about sending text messages right but um, when you register for A2P it provides a legitimacy to your business because you have to register your business and all that kind of stuff provide documentation that you are a legit business and then once you have the A2P set up then indirectly it's going to uh, provide a lot of trust and security to your business. So that is how you can go about getting the nuisance labels off and keeping them off. And then just the last thing here that you could do is you could take it a step further. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Haya whatsoever. I, um, I, uh, I'm, I'm not getting paid or anything to say this, but you could, if you have the money and you're taking a lot of calls, you can go ahead and you can get verified caller ID through a company like Haya. And also there's like 20 or 30 other companies out there and you can have uh, caller ID. So it'll actually say like your business name, it'll say your logo, it'll provide your logo and a reason for calling. So it's above CNAM, which just says like, hey, you know, this is the caller name. It'll say the business name, Name, the reason you're calling and the logo it'll seem more uh, professional I know that when I reached out to Haya I think it was like two dollars per call right so if you you know um, if you're called like, like that's just the rough numbers so obviously it does add up but then again if you're spending 30 or 40 or 100 dollars on a lead what is two dollars more um, to to you for that particular lead if you know you were never able to get a hold of that person in the first place right so that is another way that you can just increase your conversion rate with sales calls and you can kind of help stay out of the nuisance labels thank you guys so much for watching this if you have any questions post them down below and uh, thank you very much for watching once again uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.